what is the total surface area of pyramid whose base is a square with side 8 cm and height of the pyramid is 3 cm. Here total surface area of a square pyramid base is square so square pyramid means base area plus lateral surface area. Now lateral surface area of the square pyramid means there are 4 triangles in the lateral side of this pyramid. Now, don't confuse this height of the pyramid with height of the triangle. When you draw this pyramid in 2D plane, this is actually 3D and this height of pyramid is 3D. Which is, this height is equal to height of pyramid. So, this is 3D, okay. And don't confuse the height of triangle. We need to calculate height of triangle to calculate the lateral surface area. There are 4 such triangles in lateral surface. So, we need to calculate height of the triangle as well. So, don't confuse it with height of pyramid. Here, this is the pyramid. Now, this height is height of the pyramid, which is 3 cm. Now, there are 4 triangles in lateral surface. And to calculate lateral surface area, we need height of this triangle. So, take the half of base. Now, this is a right angle triangle and here one side is 3 and this is 4 then hypotenuse 5. 3, 4, 5 are triplet. So, here height of triangle is equal to 5 and height of pyramid is equal to 3. Now, base area means area of square which is A square and lateral surface area means half into perimeter of base into height of triangle half of perimeter of base into height of triangle is the lateral surface area now this is equal to 8 square plus half into perimeter of base means 8 into 4 is 32 is perimeter into height of triangle is 5 now 2 goes 16 times in 32 16 into 5 is 80 80 plus 8 8 square is equal to 80 plus 64 144 so option 3 is your answer now if you don't know this formula you can also find lateral surface area by 4 into half pH. Area of one triangle is equal to half pH. Then there are four such triangles that is 4 into half into base is equal to 8, height of triangle is equal to 5. Now 2 goes 2 times in 4. 8 into 5 40, 40 into 2 is equal to 80. So in this way you can also calculate lateral surface area.